A lot of people thought Che should be the one to talk about Kanye, but we discussed it, you know, because Che's black, but like I'm crazy, and we both know <laughs> which side of Kanye is at the wheel right now. Hi from Staten Island, it's date night for Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. It's a different experience for sure. If you look at the media, that's not what they're promoting. Right. That's not what they want. They want it to be a new wedding, a new episode, a new TV show. As you already know by now, Kim Kardashian filed from a divorce from her husband, Kanye West, in February this year. The 40-year-old Skim CEO decided to end her seven-year marriage over what she cited as irreconcilable differences. Kim has since began dating Pete Davidson, while Kanye is currently dating 22-year-old model Venetria. But despite this, Kanye has not been able to leave Kim alone, and Pete has finally had enough of it. Pete has been constantly expressing his annoyance towards Kanye in many ways. So what exactly did Pete say to Kanye? Let me break it down for you. In case you didn't know, Pete Davidson slammed Kim Kardashian's ex Kanye West as quote, mentally ill and for being a jackass in a resurfaced Saturday Night Live clip some years back. In the resurfaced old SNL clip, Pete poked fun at the American rapper on a Weekend Update skit years before his date with Kim this past weekend. Pete started, Kanye, I know you're like, no, this is the real me, I'm off the meds. After a dramatic pause, Pete then replied, take him, as the audience laughed. He continued, there's no shame in the medicine game. I'm on them, it's great. The comedian landed another joke and said, if I ever got on a plane and the pilot said, I just want all of you to know that this is the real me flying, I'd jump out. Pete went for the final blow and said, being mentally ill is not an excuse to act like a jackass, okay? At this time, the audience whooped and hollered. Colin Jost replied to Pete on the skit, asking, So, is there anything Kanye could do to win you back? Pete replied, saying, Yeah, there is, and I'll tell you in a way that Kanye understands. The comedian pulled out a red baseball hat that read, Make Kanye 2006 again, as the audience laughed and cheered. Pete and Kim were spotted grabbing a secret dinner together last night in Staten Island, according to TMZ. And if that is not crazy enough, fans recently discovered that Pete also broke the Universal Bro Code. This happened recently, when Kim's fans discovered and mocked resurfaced photos of Kanye having dinner with Pete at Nobu in New York City back in January 2019. The pair were also joined by Kim at the lavish meal, as well as rapper Kid Cudi and actor Timothy Chalamet to celebrate Cudi's 35th birthday. Kim shared three photos of the unlikely group smiling while seated around a dinner table at the time, captioning them, Happy Birthday at Kid Cudi. After the images started making their rounds on social media, fans began joking that Pete was breaking the bro code with Kanye. A user shared one of the group photos and captioned it with a line from Kanye's 2016 song Real Friends. Real friends, how many of us? How many of us? How many jealous? Another commented, Pete managed to steal Kanye's girl, goddamn. A third posted, Pete and Kanye are bros? That's some real shit. Kim also admitted back in 2019 that she had so many messages about Pete after their group dinner. She said she got more DMs from my friends, from my gay friends, from my straight friends, everyone asking me about Timothy and Pete. Pete also joked about the gathering during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in April of that year. He admitted he'd thought the meal would be only him, Cootie, and Cootie's manager, so he decided to pay for the bill. The actor panicked when Kim and Kanye turned up, although he described them as sweet people. Pete confessed that Kanye suggested they sit at the special room in the back and was ordering stuff that's not even on the menu, the crazy stuff. Looking back, it seems like Pete actually stole Kanye's girl. Everything started on Friday the 29th of October. Kim and Kourtney Kardashian headed to Not Scary Farm in Buena Park, California to enjoy a little terror at the start of Halloween weekend. They were accompanied by Travis Barker and Saturday Night Live's Pete Davidson, who rolled the roller coaster hand in hand with Kim. At the time, a source told People Magazine that they actually just hung out together. Travis knows Davidson through Machine Gun Kelly, and Kim recently performed on SNL to rave reviews, so it made some sense for him to be there. But Kanye, quote, didn't like that Kim held hands with Pete on their date. The rapper asked the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star not to show public displays of affection with anyone until their divorce is finalized. And Kanye, who Kim filed for divorce from in February, allegedly thinks their intimacy, quote, doesn't look good for her or their family. A source told Hollywood Life, Kanye was really put off by Kim holding hands with Pete, and he did not like it at all. He asked Kim to please refrain from showing PDA with anyone until their divorce is finalized. 
He told her that it doesn't look good for their family and it doesn't look good for her or in the eyes of God. The Yeezy mogul shares four kids with Kim, North 8, Saint 5, Chicago 3, and Psalm 2. The insider alleged that the Donda rapper has been in touch with Kim's mom Kris Jenner to try to learn more about Kim and Pete, but the momager, quote, wasn't giving up anything. The source claimed, Chris's biggest concern is that Kanye will try to use this against her in the divorce proceedings. But the truth is that Kanye is no longer considered part of the Kardashian family and it drives him crazy how quick they were to dismiss him. The insider added, they hang in the same circles so they will be together from time to time. And as if holding hands isn't enough, Kim shocked fans when she kissed the King of Staten Island actor during the sketch of Disney's Aladdin on Saturday Night Live. During the scene, Pete, who was dressed up as Aladdin, confessed that he might not be able to handle his partner sexually because she is a lot of woman. Kim responded, Aladdin, don't worry, I'm sure that you're more than enough man for me, and leaned in for a kiss on the magic carpet. Immediately after the episode aired, rumors that the two are now dating began to spread, as she has recently split from Kanye and he recently parted ways from Bridgerton's Phoebe Dynever. A source told Page Six, Pete was more supportive than anyone in the cast when Kim hosted. He went out of his way to make sure she was comfortable and even took time to privately coach Kim to make sure all her jokes landed. It's the only place in the world where staff is not discouraged to date. As if that's not enough, The Skims founder used her opening monologue on the show to joke about her divorce from Kanye. I've been very blessed in this life and I'm grateful for everything, honestly, all the ups, all the downs, she said adding, I mean, I married the best rapper of all time. Not only that, he's the richest black man in America, a talented, legit genius who gave me four incredible kids. So when I divorced him, you have to know it all came down to just one thing, his personality. I know it sounds mean, but people keep telling me that comedy is genuine. And if there's one thing I strive to be, it's genuine. Kim also threw shade to Kanye's failed political career on the show. Pete Davidson has been romantically connected to a lot of high-profile women, including Kate Beckinsale, Phoebe Dynever, and was also in a brief engagement to pop star Ariana Grande. So if Kim Kardashian did fall for him, we wouldn't blame her. Pete and Kim have equally thrown jabs at Kanye for interfering with their budding romance, and maybe it's time for Kanye to leave them alone. So let me know what you think about this whole issue in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.